Welcome to FAR, the photographic series. In this series, we are going to guide you through cameras and photographers, their problems, their solutions and a lot more. Do keep watching. Hey friends, welcome to another episode of FAR, the photographic series. Today we are going to talk about brand image. What is brand image and how to set it? In the last episodes, we spoke about marketing your brand or marketing yourself as a photographer because people need to see it to believe in you. Today we are not going to talk about how to market yourself, but we are going to talk about setting the right image. According to a photographer, you need to set the right image because when you're displaying your work, People are seeing what kind of work are you displaying. So I would recommend that if you are a wedding photographer, do display only wedding work. Do not display products in the middle or do not display food photography in the middle of your page. Because a person wants a specialized person as said before. They do not want a person who is doing everything. They, you are not creating a speciality in that. So according to me, setting the right image is very very important. Setting the right image either as a wedding photographer, either as a fashion photographer, either as a food photographer, either as an interior photographer. Once you set that image, you are going on the right track because then people recognize you for that work. And when once you are recognized for that particular kind of work, you are already different from others because others are doing everything and you will not be doing everything. You will be doing particular things. Your portfolio will be very good in those particular things because you will be recognized in those particular things. Today, if you see a lot of multiple photographers, they've created an impact. Either they have created an impact in journalism or in news photography or in food photography. There are reputed brands and reputed names that it works with their name. That if this person is there, for sure, this type of photography will be good. And definitely, a person might not mind paying a premium to you if you are of that forte and if you are a specialized person in that. So when you display your work, Setting the right image in a person's mind is very important. Today, you display your work on Facebook or Instagram. In case you are doing everything or not everything, let's say in case you are doing wedding photography and you are doing baby photography. Now, those are two different photos by itself. Though it comes under one category that is people's photography, but still there are two different type of images or two different type of specializations that you need to do in it. So, what I would recommend in this is create separate pages for both of them. Display your wedding work only on your wedding page. Display your baby work only on your baby page. Do not mix the work because it does not create a very positive impact on the client. You will need to know that these impacts are long lasting for anybody. So you need to create the right impact for your client. So you can only share your wedding page if you are talking to a wedding client. You only share your baby page if you are talking to a baby client. Similarly, all the different types of forte or photography, you only share those particular pages to your clients. Don't give your website or your Facebook page as a whole. Nobody in today's world has the time to actually scroll through your entire page and see what all you have done. It just gives a mixed perplex impression to a person. He gets confused that what is your specialty. Very simply, if you are shooting babies since the last 2-3 months, because it is seasonal, basically you are going to have more of babies on your page during that time but if you realize that is a period from june to august when people are maximum booking their weddings with you as well you are displaying the work that you're currently doing but what happens is that people form an impression that you're doing more of babies so you should not do it seasonal wise you should have separate pages in which baby work is going on as you're doing it you're uploading it and whereas your wedding work is also, even if you have done the work last year, but still your wedding page will be by itself and it will not be touched. So I would recommend using different pages for different fortes of photography and doing it as per that, creating an identity within your friend circle, within your social groups, within your networking groups that you are different from them. In case you have any questions, any queries, anything that you want to ask us, please do mention it in the comment box below or you can contact us on info at bxstudio.in If you like the content of this video, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Hey friends, this is Abde Ali Roshan, your very own house-friendly photographer. We are going to talk about 
a lot of camera techniques, problems faced by photographers and a lot more throughout the series. So do keep updated with the fire series.